Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of April 16th, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, also, if you're seeking a psychic reading, you will find a link to that below these videos. Now, guys, we are coming out of Mercury Retro. It ends on the 15th. It usually takes a couple days to kind of shake that ick off of you, and that's kind of what I'm seeing in Aries. You've got a good week ahead, but it progressively gets better as you go through the week. Um, some crazy energy around you might feel a little restless, uh, and that's okay. I've described that as normal. Looks like you guys are planning a trip. A lot of you are planning a trip out of state. Um, you're kind of in a healing mode, both physically and emotionally, uh, and you're kind of searching for that need for contentment, but overall things are looking good. You're, you know, your drive for success is there and you're aiming for perfection. So let's take a look. This is for Aries for your week of April 16th, 2018. All right, we start with the Nine of Wands, followed by the Major Arcana of Judgment, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to break this down for you, and I'm going to pull you three more. <clears throat> like I said, a pretty mild week coming ahead for Aries, starting with that energy I'm talking about, that you're going to feel overwhelmed, and your anxiety may be a little bit off the chart this week, and I, considering... If you're leaving retro, I find that to be normal. Judgment. This is on you guys, okay? Be warned of who you pass judgment on too quickly because this indicates you're going to be wrong. So be a little bit open-minded this week. Seven of Cups. Take the time for rest. Uh, this is a card of daydreaming and manifesting. And it's not so much that you're implementing <clears throat> new ideas. You're looking at new ways of doing things. Next to that, we have the Five of Cups. So it's okay to manifest new ideas and not put action behind it, but don't get stuck to the point that you're bringing yourself down, okay? Knight of Wands, someone moving in, someone moving out, renovations, some type of movement around the home front, Ten of Pentacles, showing you guys are financially strong. Um, some of you have done something to make some extra money, and it's definitely coming in this current week. Moving forward, we have a major kind of the Fool, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Moon, let's keep going, and we have the Ace of Swords. The Fool, indicating that, be warned of foolish decisions, notice that fell after the money card, uh, spin wisely, uh, don't blow things, put things away for a rainy day. Then we have uh, the Page of Wands. Now, this is also the Messenger card, and I normally don't throw out another uh, zodiac sign, but for some of you, this is a connection with the Sagittarius as well. And the moon indicates delays, and the delays are going back to what I saw with you manifesting new ways of doing things, new thoughts, new ideas. There's a delay attached to it, and it's not a bad delay. It just shows that you're getting things ready. And then we have a new beginning. A new beginning is at hand. I don't think it's coming in this particular week for Aries, but it is upcoming. So what you need to know, first of all, do not pass judgment on someone too quickly. You're going to be wrong if you do. And then we have the fool, okay? You know, financially, you guys are sound. Make wise decisions this week. Thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.